Hello and welcome back to another episode of Happy Cat Homestead. This is Angelie and today I want to talk to you about something that can really do some damage to our plants and um, we're going to get into that into a minute. In a minute, I can talk properly today, but um, I just wanted to uh, show a quick view of my raised bed, which I have some butter crunch lettuce, some oak leaf lettuce, and a volunteer cucumber that somehow, I think it's a cucumber, it's one of those, it's either a squash or a cucumber, one. Uh, I haven't seen any flowering, but it looks more like a cucumber to me. Yeah, that looks like a cucumber. Uh, I've got lettuce going to seed over here, and I've got some kale going to seed. And I've got some more uh, squash. This is Black Beauty zucchini that I'm going to be planting in my garden because... This guy got hit really bad with powdery mildew. So I had to cut a lot of the leaves off. And already it's starting to show up on this leaf. So I'm going to have to get them sprayed down and taken care of. And I'm hoping it will make it. But if it doesn't, I'm going to yank it out and we'll start all over. I do, however, have another squash out here. Although, I think it's got it too. So, we're going to have to get out here and do some spraying. But, that's not what this video is about today. Today, the video is about something else. Now, I noticed this when I was shooting a video about cucumber beetles. And, how to catch them. And keep them from hurting our beautiful cucumber plants. Let's take a walk back here to my tomatoes, which are coming along nicely. I got a late start, so I don't have any ripening, ripening going on yet, but it will come. I have some very nice romas and some beautiful hillbilly tomatoes coming out. And I think I've got some grape tomatoes down there also. And I have some cucumbers back here. And I also have some cucumbers over there which is where I first saw my cucumber beetle. But this paper right here, this is a uh, sticky yellow traps. Now I'm gonna try to get in here as good as I can. And hopefully you can see this, but I'll upload some pictures as well. But do you see all of those little, little tiny uh, white thing, little white specks right there. We're going to talk about those today. And uh, <laughs> we'll just follow Taz around for a bit while I talk. These are called white flies. <clears throat> and these tiny little pests, they will suck the sap from your precious plants, let me tell you. Have you ever picked a tomato and it looks white? like has little white spots. Here is a perfect example. Now, a friend of mine brought me this over and I know he's had this problem in the past, but I never knew what it was, so now I can actually help him. I'm gonna, let's see if we can get this over here. There we go, that's better. You can see all of those little, it's like it's turning white on the inside it's losing its color on the inside that I'm going to probably say it was from white flies or some other insect who likes to suck the sap out of your plants let me sit this somewhere I will sit him over here I've got a nice bunch of greens growing and I've got little babies coming up. I am covering this ground with lettuces and kale and chard and Napa cabbage and truncuta kale that's going to come up over there. And I'm excited for that to happen. But let's get back to white flies. 
you can put mesh screens over your plants and keep most pests out, but it will not work for the white fly because they're too tiny. I mean, these guys are small, 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 small. So, I did find that these yellow sticky traps work really great for these little critters. And I, I found this out by accident. Like I said, I was looking for a way to get rid of cucumber beetles. I don't see one on this trap, but I've got uh, three traps over here with my cucumber plants that captured the cucumber beetle. And you can see that in the video and I'll put a link to that or I'll put a card up up there somewhere. <laughs> anyway, um, so let's talk about ways to eliminate these little critters. We got some noise going on over there today. <clears throat> Of course we can use the sticky traps, the yellow sticky traps. They are really efficient at catching these bugs. But there are other things that we can use like ladybugs, lace wings, hummingbirds, dragonflies. You can spray them with uh, water or some garlic water. You can vacuum them up with, with a, like a little handheld vacuum, but I, I would be careful not to vacuum your plant into it. Um, but I, I think I like the, the sticky trap because I'm an organic grower. And if you are organic as well, then you're not going to want to use some of the other products like neem and insecticides and things like that to get rid of the pest on your plant. You'll want to do it as natural as possible. And um, mosquitoes are out here today. So um, there's other methods. Like I said, there, you can use an insecticide, but use that as a last resort. Now, the crops that are mostly affected by these little guys are your brassicas. like your colors <laughs> oh I got some sandwich leaves going on here yummy um, your collards your brassicas your kale collars broccoli cauliflower and stuff like that your tomatoes hi Salem you want to say hello say hello I'm a representative of happy cat homestead and I approve this message <laughs> I had to throw that in there haven't heard that in a while so anyways tomatoes um, the capsicum family, otherwise known as your peppers. Think cayenne pepper. And I've got some nice peppers coming over here. And I can't wait for them to be ripe. Oh, looky there. So, your peppers, your capsicum family. Um, citrus fruits also can be affected. And I think some medicinal plants and ornamental flowers can also be infected. Uh, I haven't learned enough about that part of it but I have learned this much about the white flies and there's a bunch of them it's like wow uh, there's not so many over here on this paper but there's some other stuff back here oh yeah there are there is quite a few on the back side I don't know how easy that is to see. Yeah, there we go. We can get in there and look at that. That's what they look like. They're really, really tiny. Now, I've got a picture that I can uh, enlarge, and I will post it with this video to show you what they look like exactly. So anyway, um, this has been Angelie with Happy Cat Homestead. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you've taken away something beneficial from it. And I will see you the next time. Have a great day. Happy gardening.